Hey guys, today I'm going to cook a rotisserie Cornish game hen in my air fryer oven. So let's get this little chicken spinning. I have a little Cornish game hen here. I got this at the grocery outlet for $2.99. If you buy them at Safeway, they're about twice that price. So uh, get this opened up here and see what it looks like. All right. All right. I'll rinse that off. I've only done one other video using the rotisserie, so I'm not real familiar with it, but this should be easier. I used a bigger chicken last time and I had a few problems, so we'll stick this rod through the chicken. And um, I was missing one of these little thumb screws, um, so when I did the last video, I had to go to the hardware store and get a just a regular screw and it came loose when I was cooking it. So hopefully this will work out a little bit better. And it's a smaller bird, so it should be easier to to hold together. So we'll put that in there. Get it kind of centered on the on the skewer there. We'll tighten that down. Okay. Alright. And then, and I found the, the other thumb screw was in the bottom of my oven. I, I noticed it in there after I've been using the oven for like a month. <laughs> I'm like, what's that? There's my other screw that was missing. It must have fell out in, when they shipped it or something. So, Put this little thing on it. Like, let's see if I can do this. Okay. Hmm. Turn it around this way. It'll be easier. Okay. Got to kind of get this thing centered here. Why won't it slide? Uh oh, the other end's coming out. These things are kind of hard to get situated if you're not if you're not used to it. It's probably an easier way, but I'm still learning. Okay, tighten that down. There we go. You don't want the legs and wings to flop around too much, so you have to tie them. This is just regular cotton twine string. So um, let's see. I can do this here. Okay. Just tie just kind of a regular knot here. Alright. Okay. I got that. And then I'll put one around the wings as well. I think this looks pretty good. I put a second piece of string around the legs because the first piece seemed a little bit loose. Now I'm going to season the outside with Kinder's Mild Barbecue Rub. Use this one on chicken a lot. Alright, let's see if I can get this in there now. I took the oven rack out and put the drip pan in the bottom. Let's see if I can get this in there. Okay, that goes like that, that goes like that. Looks like it should be good. Close the door, and I'm using the rotisserie setting. I set it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, that's the hottest it goes. And I have it set for 40 minutes, so I'll just keep an eye on it. This has been in there for about 30 minutes, and it's looking good. The smaller bird works better than the bigger chicken. It's a little bit easier. There's more room in there for it. I let this cook for 40 minutes and it just shut off. So now I'm going to get it out of there so it doesn't dry out. I've got this little tool you can grab it with. Okay. There we go. That's a nice color to it. I'm going to check it with quick read thermometer make real quick to make sure it's done. 183 it says to cook it to 180 so we're good this looks nice on the outside let's see how the inside looks oh yeah leg just pulls right off of there looks cooked through looks fairly juicy wing pulls right off let's see cut into this breast meat here that doesn't look bad let's try a bite
That came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, that's easier than, than a bigger chicken. I like doing a game hen that way. All right, see what Annie thinks. I'm gonna try it, Annie. There you go. <laughs> Inhale. That might be my new favorite way to cook a game hen. I wasn't that thrilled with cooking a big chicken that way. It was kind of hard. It was kind of a tight squeeze. But that game hen came out good. It was fairly juicy and the skin was really crispy, which I liked. So anyway, I'll write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.